Greetings from the Gambia and welcome to another edition of the Education Forum. Of course, it's another Saturday and surely another edition. And of course, uh, we all know that the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education has been striving really hard in ensuring or making sure that quality and relevant education is brought to the doorstep of every Gambian child. And because of this, they have been coming up with a lot of initiatives that seeks to strengthen the education sector of this country. And with me, I have personnel from the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education who are here to talk to us about an initiative that they have implemented, an initiative that ensures to make sure that the inducive, the conducive environment is created for young people in the Gambia. Without wasting much time, let me just introduce my panelists. And on my far right, I have Mr. Lamin Jalo, who is a head teacher at Kapa Lower Basic School. Uh, on my right, I have uh, Mr. Babukar Boy, who is the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Basic and Secondary Education. And on my left, I have Mr. Adam Ajob, who is the Director of Science and Technology, Minister of Basic and Secondary Education. Gentlemen, you are welcome to the Education Forum. Thank you. Uh, without wasting uh, more time, uh, Mr. Boy, my first question would come to you. Uh, we have learned that the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education is coming up with an initiative called the Donkey Cart Initiative. Perhaps uh, you'd like to give us an insight or a brief synopsis as to what exactly the Donkey Cart Initiative is all about. Thank you very much, Mr. Baji, and uh, good evening, viewers. Um, the Donkey Cart Initiative, actually, we at some point thought about um, using horses, but we ended up settling for the Donkey, uh, cart. The donkey cart. Um, it came from um, a set of information uh, that we actually gathered from the education data that we were looking at in 2007 regarding the um, participation rates of um, students um, age seven years, which is the official, you know, I mean, school entry age. We discovered that at the time, only 35% of kids that uh, were seven years old were going to school. And uh, the reason was that um, many parents felt that the kids were too young to travel to schools that were actually, I mean, few kilometers away. And uh, as a result, um, in trying to increase the participation rates of these kids, we thought that rather than, you know, I mean, put classrooms in communities where, you know, I mean, the kids are not many. Not much, yeah, the population. The population um, is not uh, a big one. We thought we could come up with this initiative whereby um, the kids will be, I mean, facilitated to move from a community to and like that schools. to their various schools. And uh, um, that way, you will be able to get more of the seven-year-olds going to school. Because really, um, in terms of uh, investment choice, it makes sense to provide such um, a transportation means mm -hmm. to kids that are staying a few kilometers away than, you know, providing you know, I mean, classrooms. And that is the um, rationale for this um, uh, initiative. And uh, it has already started at the beginning of this academic year. And uh, um, several communities are benefiting from the initiative. OK. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Boy, for that insight. I, I also want to believe that uh, this would add up to the government of the Gambia uh, to meet up with the MDGs that have been uh, put aside for education, especially when it comes to uh, younger people. My next question would go to uh, Mr. Jalo. You are the head teacher <coughs> of Kappa Lower Basic School, and of course, uh, one of the privileged um, schools to benefit from these initiatives. Perhaps you would like to tell us uh, some of the benefits that this initiative has on your school. Thank you very much, Mr. Baji. Good evening, viewers. Now, indeed, I must uh, express on behalf of my community and the pupils, my profound gratitude to the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education and uh, the government through the basic, uh, through education for that matter. Now definitely this project or initiative couldn't have come at a better time. Now it has really um, encouraged parents or encourage enrollment. Now previously, like, uh, I have 12 uh, catchment areas excluding Kappa. 
children come all the way from Kaling, Bunubor, Jikes, which is quite a distance, minimum four kilometers away from school. Now, there are many children who have not been going to school because of the distance, but with the advent of uh, this donkey, donkey cart initiative, definitely it has boosted up the uh, enrollment rate at Kappa, particularly this academic year. Um, parents are definitely very grateful, and then I want to convey their gratitude for the initiative. Definitely, we are grateful. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jalo. Mr. <coughs> Mr. Job, I would I would um, come to you. Of course, uh, you have few communities or schools that are selected uh, to benefit from the donkey cart initiatives. Perhaps you'd like to tell us how the schools have been selected. And, and how you expect them to benefit our schools in their various communities. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Bali. Good evening, viewers. Uh, like you already stated, uh, about 82 communities are benefiting from the project. And uh, they were selected based on the mainly on distance okay. and population. Because with the help of the planning directorate, we, were, we, use, we use the GIS you know, to determine every community what is the walking distance and how many children, I mean, school going age are there, mm -hmm. particularly those within that cohort of 7 to 14. And in so doing, we were able to come up with, uh, I mean, these schools. Like I said, 82 communities. I mean, in Region 2, we have 10 communities or 10 schools. Region 3, we have 16. Region 4, we have 6. Region 5, we have 27. And Region uh, six we have 23 and in total it is about 82 communities you know they're all provided with with with, with i mean a donkey cart which is transporting the children from their homes to the school and back after school yeah okay uh, uh mr boy of course mobility has always been a problem especially uh for school going children who are in in uh rural gambia and uh, most of the time when you talk about uh, mobility and when even people go and visit the schools, they would always complain about it and would say we are appealing to the government or the ministry to provide us with vehicles. The, the ministry decided to come uh, with donkey carts and not vehicles. Perhaps you would like to tell us why you decided to come up uh, with donkey carts and not motorable vehicles. Well, <coughs> thank you, um, Mr. Baji. As you know, um, the terrain in these parts of you know, I mean, the, the country that we are intervening um, is such that thinking about uh, the use of um, a vehicle will be actually like daydreaming because the um, you don't have the, the road infrastructure. Um, you also may be faced with a, a problem of maintenance when the vehicle, you and know, has a breakdown mm -hmm. and a host of other, other things. What we tried to do was to look at the means of transportation that those communities are, you, you know, I mean, use it. As a matter of fact, in these communities, it's mainly the, you know, horse and donkey carts that are used as a medium of transportation. As a medium of transportation. So we actually went in and uh, um, tried to promote the kind of, you know, I mean, uh, transportation that um, is being used based on uh, the fact that um, the, 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 the road infrastructure there cannot, uh, you know, I mean, accommodate um, use of vehicles. And also, given the fact that that is the means of transportation that is being, 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 being used. And we feel that um, it is more sustainable than even, you know, I mean, venturing into an area that may pose a lot of, you know, I mean, challenges. And so far, we, 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 we are receiving very, you know, I mean, positive feedback. feedback okay. And the good thing about it is the kids that are actually, you know, I mean, uh, using the, using the, 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 the cart are the ones going to school. Okay. Most of them are, you know, they, u they, they, they use the cart to go to school, you know, attend to their classes. After school, they go back with the, with the cart. Uh, Mr. Boy, I think uh, that is that is uh, very much clear, and, and I just want to go back to uh, Mr. Jalo. You, uh, how many how many donkey cars is is allocated um, to your school? No, <coughs> thank you, Mr. Baji. Kappa, 